Hold on to your boosted board. It's about to get a lot more awesome with more range, more speed, different remote options, and a couple of other fun things that we're working on. In case you need a quick refresher, we proposed this very loose roadmap of sorts. It wasn't supposed to be a very set in stone thing. It was just supposed to kind of show you what, where like my thought process was of how do we tackle or how might we tackle some problems that the boosted board community experience is experiencing and what can we throw at it uh, to try to alleviate some of those problems. So in this order, what we thought was going to be worthwhile for us to pursue were to uh, find a way to add range to our boosted boards, replenish boosted board battery packs, create boost and compatible ESCs, and make other remotes work with our boosted boards. So, uh, did we do any of those things? Yes, uh, we have actually done all of those things. And uh, that's why I'm really excited to get this um, now six month update. Here is the XR Plus, a boosted board battery that allows you to get nine miles of range on 85 millimeter wheels, full speed on a hyper mode, or around eight miles of range if you put on boosted 105s on your stealth. Uh, this has been our primary focus since December, and we haven't stopped trying to make it the best we possibly can without making the battery pretty much any bigger than your XR currently is right now. Uh, we are we currently only have two XR Pluses currently in existence, and both of which are in my possession. I'll be sending one of these batteries to Jeffrey Peralta out in New York City for testing, if I haven't done so already by the time this video has been published. And we, uh, basically, uh, Jeffrey, if you know Jeffrey Peralta, he rides super duper hard. Uh, if it survives with him, it'll definitely survive with you, especially after he puts a few thousand miles on it this summer. Uh, this fulfills both line item one and two. The XR Plus fulfills line items both one and two in terms of being able to replace our cells with new cells. This allows us to do that. And we also get more range without significantly increasing the size of the battery pack. It is worth noting that the XR Plus is slightly larger to accommodate for the larger battery pack. Uh, so we will need uh, to glue on one of these to the outside of your XR uh, because we'll be, we'll, we'll be milling some, uh, we, we'll be dremeling some uh, plastic away inside of the enclosure. So we now need to make it stronger as well as to make it waterproof-ish. Waterproof-ish again, I should say. I don't want to. I don't want to say waterproof. It will make the XR slightly thicker, um, so we will need to have a riser for the Mini X ESC in order to accommodate room uh, for the XR Plus. But we feel this is a pretty worthy compromise. It works on our Mini X just fine uh, with the riser underneath the ESC, and uh, yeah, it should work perfectly as long as um, as as long as the riser is there and as long as you're able to uh, get enough room for the cells then everything should uh, fit and work just fine. The XR Plus also isn't that much heavier. It weighs in at around six pounds instead of five pounds that the XR roughly weighs and there hasn't been a noticeable difference in ride quality because of that added weight. I can talk all about pre-orders, the XR Plus and beta testing. That All of that is like way out of the scope of this video. The scope of the video is supposed to be just an update on what we've been working on and I feel like I can talk about that for another good 5-10 minutes which would bore probably all of you to death so I'm gonna move on to the next exciting thing that we've been working on. Now that we have more capable batteries like the XR Plus why don't we go ahead and unlock more speed and more torque? Well that is exactly what we did. Uh, so we took a Fockbox Unity and we hooked it up to our boosted board battery and we made it so that we can communicate with the battery while still using the Fockbox Unity. We don't have to buy 
boosted ESCs in the future, we can buy any ESC and make that into a boosted ESC. It is also worth mentioning that uh, it's not very well tuned right now. I didn't change almost any of the settings inside of the VESC, inside the Fogbox Unity that we have. Uh, we just plugged it in, did the, get the, did the motor calibration, and uh, that was it. But uh, yeah, we, we didn't really bother changing much, so it feels nothing like a boosted board is what I'm trying to say. Being able to use non-boosted electronics with your boosted board battery is huge. And like, I'm, I'm really, really happy that we've been able to figure all this out because uh, you don't need to buy genuine boosted remotes or boosted ESCs anymore once we've fine-tuned the programming that is on the, uh, on the, on the VESC and once we fine-tuned how the remote works, then we won't have to ever buy an overpriced remote from eBay or an overpriced ESC from eBay ever again. Getting the boosted board battery to work with the Fockbox Unity and the Hoyt Puck basically checked off line items three and four, which is to create boost and compatible ESCs and to make other remotes work with our boosted boards. Like we did both of those things, but there's still a lot to this video. Uh, so, uh, this is where the fun begins, I guess. Uh, we have a, a much better technical understanding of how our boosted boards work now, and we feel comfortable taking careful steps forward. Uh, uh, other than just making uh, bigger batteries and boosted compatible uh, electronics, we've been working on two new uh, products to add to the boosted ecosystem. We probably can't call them the beams when we launch them, so I'm happy to take name recommendations. Uh, boosted beams, but they're not $1,000. Uh, well, that's, that's a start. It's not a perfect name, but it's a name that's not just boosted beams. So, uh, but uh, anyway, we can detect when uh, the push button on the boosted board battery is pressed or not pressed. So what that means is that we can have something that is listening for button presses and have it turn the lights on and off just like boosted beams do without needing to charge the lights or anything. You, you can plug these lights into your board and they can work almost exactly like boosted beams. In our early prototypes, we made it so that we can just take apart our old shred lights and put our very, very old shred light V1s, not the V2s, like the very, very original shred lights. And we were able to take out the LEDs and get rid of the battery and just put the LEDs and lenses out in the front over here. And uh, it works pretty decently. And uh, that's what we might be considering with, um, with launching this as a legit product that you just send us your old shred lights and we'll put them in here. Uh, Cause like your old shred lights, the batteries in them are almost certainly dead on the old shred light V1s. So we might as well just say, hey, like send us your shred lights. We'll make them into boosted beams, but they're not a thousand dollars. I got to work on the name. We're, we're excited because like it's, it gives us more lighting options than just buying shred lights. You got to charge them every night. You got to keep them charged. You got to, uh, do all this stuff. If, it, if it's stuff that's already uh, integrated on the board, then you never have to charge it. And then if you never have to charge it, you're never going to forget. If you never forget, then next time you go and ride in the dark, you're not like, oh crap, I should have charged my shred lights. Never again, hopefully. A lot of you guys, like myself, live in colder climates. And um, if you keep your board indoors for the entirety of the winter, then you're not making use of the battery. We've noticed a, a very sharp influx at the beginning of the springtime when people are, are getting the boosted boards out for the first time of the year and they get the red light of death. That seems to happen uh, a good number of times. And so, uh, that this is, we don't really get a lot of requests from uh, from California right during the springtime because you guys are pretty much riding the entire year round. Or if you're in a if you're in, uh, on the warmer side of the state uh, of the states, sorry, uh, when uh, that you you pretty much don't come to us at the beginning of springtime because you've been using your board this whole time, so you've been 
keeping it in use, if you don't keep it in use, as a tendency to go off balance. Uh, so we're trying to find a way to make it so that uh, people like me that live in colder climate, riders like me and you that might live in colder climates can make good use of their battery when they're not riding. And so we wanted to create a tool that will help you do just that, uh, make good use of your battery in the wintertime, a tool that will help you check your battery health at a glance, and so you'll know before you start riding if you're likely to encounter the red light of death, and a tool that will help you keep up at group rides and uh, by allowing you to consolidate your battery energy into one battery by remotely fast charging the battery on your board with a half empty battery in your backpack. Um, so I, um, I came across this very thing when I was in Chicago, I was testing out the XR Plus. Uh, so uh, what I was, the situation I was in is that I had my XR Plus on my stealth I had an XR in my backpack. The XR in my backpack was not fully charged. It was partly charged because I had to ride from my car to the starting spot of the group ride. And because I had to ride there, I was gonna lose battery. I wanted to start out the group ride with a fully charged XR Plus. So I used my XR. Uh, I originally had my XR on my board so that I could ride to the starting spot, but then like, my the XR is like now partially empty. And um, so at the end of the group ride, I wanted to go charge my board, but I couldn't because there were no outlets. Everyone else was charging. Uh, so I was just waiting for an outlet to come about. During that time, I could have used my XR in my backpack to charge up my XR Plus. Um, it, it's not faster to, uh, if my XR was fully charged in my backpack, it wouldn't be faster for me to, uh, to fast charge it. In fact, I think it would be better if I just swapped my XR Plus with my XR completely if the XR in my backpack was fully charged, but it wasn't fully charged. So uh, we uh, find that, uh, yeah, like it, it would probably be a lot more convenient if you were able to consolidate the energy into one battery instead of two. You would rather have a full glass of water than two glasses half full. Um, and that's the thesis of the siphon. The siphon would be really useful for future XR Plus owners uh, so that they can make good use of a battery inside their backpack, not just on group rides, but in other environments as well, such as when you're charging your laptop, you're charging your phone, you're charging your other thing, you're charging your remote even. Uh, and uh, so that you are never in a situation where you feel like that you can't make good use of a battery pack that's just sitting inside your backpack. So the double XR is most definitely still alive. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar, the XR Plus is designed to give you 40% more range. The double XR is designed to give you double the range. And this was supposed to be, uh, the double XR was supposed to come out first. Uh, the reason why we're, we are pushing the double XR is for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, the, the XR Plus is a lot easier to manufacture because we can just reuse the old shells from the XR batteries, make some slight modifications, and call it a day. We can reuse a lot of the same components. We don't have to manufacture anything new um, for the most part, except for the battery pack. The the double XR is not that. We pretty much are designing that from the ground up and would need to manufacture it from the ground up as well. Uh, everything with the shell, with the, um, with, we have to manufacture it all. And um, the design is also nearly finalized with the XR Plus. So I'm like, hey, why don't we just go ahead with the, with the XR Plus and use the revenue that we get from the XR Plus to make the double XR. Um, the XR Plus is just also better tested at the moment. The XR, the double XR is not um, very thoroughly tested at all. Uh, we will also probably need to make our own uh, battery management system in the future. So we just, we're just gonna do it right now. We're just gonna make our own battery management system right now so that we can have something that's testable at the end of summer. Uh, so that we can build bigger batteries like the XR Plus. Uh, sorry, we can build bigger batteries like the, I can see why the naming is, uh, we'll work on the names. Uh, naming is not my strong suit. 
Uh, but, uh, we, we, we would need to make a new battery management system for the double XR uh, since we know that some of the technical limitations of the existing XR BMS is that it just balances the battery super slowly. And we don't feel that if we made the battery twice as big, it wouldn't be a very responsible for it. It wouldn't be a very responsible thing for us to reuse the same BMS, knowing how slow that the boosted BMS balances the battery. So we're like, all right, let's just make our own BMS and, um, and make it communicate with the boosted board. We can definitely do that. We can definitely make that happen. Uh, it's just a matter of, like, we need to make it safe, we need to make it reliable, we need to make it all the things that we know that you guys deserve because you guys are the best. Not just because you ride the same board as I do, but because you're family. And like, we gotta, we gotta make it so that we don't make something that, we gotta be responsible about what we put out um, to you guys. And uh, we believe that the XR Plus is something that's a lot closer uh, and uh, we can get to market in a way that is actually practical and will actually get you guys a satisfactory experience for part of the summer. And uh, I'm just, I'm just really excited to build more stuff to come if it means that uh, it's the stuff like the siphon and stuff like the beams, but they're not a thousand dollars. I'm I'm really excited to to um, to to build a lot of these things because of um, well, again, you guys deserve the best, and I um, I'm happy to pour more engineering time into stuff, even if it takes more time. I'm happy to pour more engineering time if it makes it uh, if it's that uh, so long that uh, we're able to make good use of it for years to come. We're really excited because it feels like that the options that we wanted to have are finally materializing six months later. Uh, we don't anticipate that the future hardware, especially the, the boosted compatible ESC, we don't anticipate that's gonna really be a cheaper option per se, but we do feel that it would be a more compelling option because it's, it, it, gets a, it gives you, the rider, a real opportunity to have real support and real warranty in your board again. Like that's something that we haven't had for two years. Uh, so right now, your current options right now is $300 boosted board ESC on eBay or our ESC, which is also $300, but has a real warranty, has real support, and it's also higher performing than the boosted ESC that you could otherwise get on eBay, which has no support, has no warranty, and the performance is locked where it's at, and there's really not a, a very clean way of giving you more performance for your dollar. Um, so we feel that we're getting there. We're getting there, and we're really excited because um, we can make all of our hardware like this. We can make hardware uh, that people like you can trust, and people like you um, can get the most out of out of these years and we can give you the support and love that you guys need from a real product that you can expect to have with a warranty, with support, and with all of these things that we know is what made Boosted so great of an option for all of us to begin with. Uh, thank you for making it all the way to the end. I look forward to hearing more from the community about uh, where you guys think we should go. And uh, I'm really excited to talk more about the XR Plus and pre-orders and opening those up soon so we can, uh, uh, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I am your surgeon in residence and newborn battery midwife, David, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you sat through this entire video, then wow, you must really like boosted boards. And if you want to see more of this research and you want to contribute, well, we made a Patreon. You absolutely do not have to donate. We do not have any cool rewards or anything. All the money would be going towards uh, boosted board research. And we also have a poll in which you can say uh, how you, we have a say in which of how you want your research money to be used towards if there's a specific project that interests you the most. All right, uh, that's gonna be all for me. Ride safe, always wear a helmet. <laughs>